I'm John Riley from the White House Historical Association. Um, it's tough to live in the White House. Um, first of all, it's a gorgeous place. It's rather large compared to most of our homes. Um, these days, there's an outdoor pool, there's a bowling alley, there's a tennis court outside. Um, you know, there's several kitchens and there's a staff to take care of you. But uh, not all presidents and first ladies necessarily have enjoyed living there. Um, Chester Arthur in the 1880s actually uh, was a rather wealthy gentleman when he came to the White House to become president. He thought some of the furniture was shabby looking, beat up around the edges, and so he actually didn't want to live in the White House. Uh, he couldn't convince Congress though to build him a new one somewhere else in Washington, so he had a very famous designer come in, Louis Comfort Tiffany, and spruce up the White House. He also ordered about 24 wagon loads of old furniture to be carted off and auctioned off and brought in uh, his new uh, design, so he, including a beautiful glass colored wall that Tiffany designed just for the White House, which is of course no longer there. So it actually became quite colorful when, for Chester Arthur and I guess um, uh, it, it served his purpose to spruce up the White House, but in fact he, he was uh, uh, not happy about the state of affairs when he showed up in the White House and saw all the old furniture. So he took it into his own hands, dug into his own pocket, and, uh, and renovated the White House. 